Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Mike Matei, TTM Mike, coming at you with a couple of uh, TTM returns today. I think, I believe I got five back today. So, let's just get right to it. This one's coming back from San Diego, California. It is coming back from former Minnesota Vikings quarterback, Mr. Tommy Kramer. He, uh, he was a decent quarterback. He signed at 86 All-Pro. So, that's one. And then he signed my upper deck card. Tommy Kramer, 77 to 89. He was a decent Vikings quarterback. So, thank you, Mr. Tommy Kramer. Uh, the second one's coming from Phoenix, Arizona. It is coming back from Clay Bellinger. If you've heard, you've heard his last name, Bellinger. This is Cody's dad, Clay Bellinger. He was a New York Yankee. He was a, I believe, a California Angels. He won two... World Series rings, one with the Yankees, and uh, I believe one with the Angels. It might have been two with the Yankees, I'm not sure. I believe it was one and one. One with the Yankees, one with the Angels. Clay Bellinger, and then he signed my Subway Series card right there. Clay Bellinger, 2000 New York City Subway Series. The Yankees beat my Mets four games to two. Broke my heart. But uh, Clay Bellinger also stole a home run, which would have won the game. Game, I think, three or four, I believe. Oh, Clay Bellinger. So this is Cody's dad. He's got two up on uh, Cody. So, Cody, you got to catch up. This next car is coming back from Canada. And uh, when you send something out to Canada, usually hockey players, the outgoing envelope needs American postage. The return envelope needs... Canadian postage coming back to you. See, this came back to me, Mike Mate. So, uh, I I believe I purchased these uh, Canada stamps, first class stamps, on uh, CanadaPost.com. I just ordered it, just like you would order through our USPS, and uh, they sent me a roll of Canadian stamps. Now they did not cancel this. What I usually do when they don't cancel it, and some people say it's unethical, oh, it's not right, you're cheating the system. But hey, listen, stamps go up all the time, and nobody cares about uh, ethical problems then, right? So what I do is I take uh, some citrus air freshener, and I spray it. I spray it right behind. Not this, on the inside of the envelope, and right here, right where the stamps are. I spray it with citrus air freshener, and these bad boys, they peel right off. And it saves you stamps, man. So it saves you money. I mean, stamps are expensive. They just went up again. Uh, once I posted, I posted once that I take the stamps and reuse them, and someone got on my case. Oh, that's not right. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, Postmaster General, but... uh I reuse my stamps if they don't get canceled. Not my fault. Sorry. For instance, I can't reuse this one because it was canceled. But what I do is I collect all of these stamp, uh, canceled stamps and I sell them on lots on eBay. And people buy them. People from Australia, Japan, Germany, they buy them. So don't throw away your stamps, people. You can sell these bad boys on eBay. So, yeah. So that's that. So coming back from Canada, two of two success from great wrestler... Brett, the hitman, Hart. Brett Hart. He signed that one for me. And then he signed my cool little wrestling card. So, Brett, the hitman, Hart. Thank you, Mr. Brett, the hitman, Hart. Two of two success. Um, came back within about three weeks. I'm getting another one here, which was not canceled. The stamps were not canceled. I will be gently removing these off. Like I said, you spray some citrus on the inside, like right here. And you peel the stamps off carefully, and they, they come right off. You rub, you rub the uh, citrus spray from the air freshener can, and these bad boys, they come right off. And you can use them again. I usually use them, uh, uh, the American stamps, I use them on uh, the envelopes that are going to uh, the person that I'm sending to. On my return stamps, I usually use fresh ones. So, uh, yeah. So, this is coming back from Canada. So, I sent this player my hockey card. This was all. He's one per. And uh, he, did not, he did not sign this. But he did send me this postcard. It is 
former uh, Montreal Canadiens, Colorado Avalanche great, Patrick Roy. So this signature looks legit. doesn't look like a, like a preprint. It looks like a real autograph. So I'm pretty sure it's a real autograph. Uh, he is the general manager of a Canadian hockey team, I believe. Uh, yeah, minor league hockey team. So, uh, yeah, he's a general manager there. And uh, he does sign, and it's one per, no fee. So all these autographs I, I got returned to me were all no fees. I will get to the fees now. Also, Mr. Rua sent this letter. It says, Dear friend, First off, first of all, I would like to apologize for the delay to answer your request and to thank you for your interest towards me and my hockey career. Uh, unfortunately, due to the large amount of letters sent to me, it is impossible for me to sign the cards you encase in your letter, enclosed in your letter. As a token of appreciation, I am pleased to send you one of my autographed photos, which I will have, will which which I hope will have a place among. Sylvania. Sincerely, Patrick Ruar. So thank you, Mr. Patrick Ruar. He is one per. He was a great goalie for the uh, Montreal Canadiens and the Colorado Avalanche. There he is hoisting two Stanley Cups. Great hockey player. And now I get to my private signings. This first uh, private signing is a photo. Uh, the promoter of, th of the show was Jamie Bly. Uh, thank you, Jamie Bly. So I sent this. I I said this before. I took this Puerto, uh this picture. This is in Puerto Rico, and I took this photo myself. I was gonna frame it, and then I said, "Wait, what am I doing? I could get some uh, autographs on here from former Puerto Rican baseball players." So this location was is known as El Moro. It's in San Juan, Puerto Rico. This is basically just a fort where the Spaniards would. Uh, Dig in and uh, go on watch duty and, and be on the lookout for invasions from other countries. And, uh, yeah, I just took that photo. So uh, the first one I got was uh, uh, through the mail. He charges $10. And uh, that's six Olescano. The second one was a private signing, 20 bucks, Carlos Baega. The third one was another sign at 20 bucks. That was Ivan de Jesus, former Cub. And this one was a uh, private signing as well. And this was Sandy Alamon Sr. So uh, that was 20 bucks also. So I do have room on here for a few more. Maybe one, two, three, four. And uh, you have uh, Ruben Sierra's doing a private signing. I think it's tw 20 bucks. Uh, Benito Santiago's doing a private signing. That one's 25 per autograph on a photo. So... I do have options of who to send to, so I'm glad this came in finally. And uh, I'm not going to oversaturate the photo with too many autographs. Once once this side fills up, that'll be the end of it. I don't want anything over here, anything over here. And Although I could send, ask for this to be signed as Silver Sharpie. I don't know. But pretty much I'm looking to get maybe one, two, three, four autographs on here, and that'll be it. So... Thank you, Mr. Sandy Alomar. He was a Met, a Yankee, a, a California Angel. So, glad to add him to my collection. And finally, I received, uh, I send this in to uh, Lou Ragone. Lou Ragone is another promoter. He had Jamie Bly for the Sandy Alomar Sr. And Lou Ragone did this private signing. So, uh, this one was Rick Monday, former Cub, former Dodger, former Oakland A. He's real famous for uh, some guys in the 70s try to light the American flag on fire. And Rick Monday was the center fielder. I believe he was on the Cubs at the time. And he ran up on these guys and he took the flag away from them. They were not able to light the flag on uh, Old Glory on fire. They were arrested and... Uh, Rick Monday was the hero, so he was very well known for that. So now I've added uh, uh, Rick Monday to my 8x10 to go along with Ron Say, uh, Andre Dawson, Lee Elia, Larry Boa, Larry Bittner, Jody Davis, Gary Varsho, Turk Wendell. I forget who that is. I've got it written down somewhere. Steve Swisher, uh, Frank Lucchese, who was a manager, former manager of the Cubs. 
Don Kessinger, and who is this? I don't remember who that is, but thank God I write stuff down. There's a uh, Ryan Sandberg, Hall of Famer. So Ryan Sandberg was ten bucks through the mail. I don't know if his prices have gone up. I remember I got Andre Dawson for ten bucks through the mail. Say was free at the time he signs. He he uh, charges now. Elia was free. Boa was free. Bittner was free. Everybody else was free. So uh, yeah, man. So, uh, oh, I know who this is. This is uh, Ivan de Jesus. That's who it is. So, yeah, man, that's it for this one. Pretty soon I'll be retiring this one because I'm running out of room. Maybe I can get one more here, one more cubby here. Uh, where else? Uh, we'll get lost if we can get one there. So, yeah, I st strategically asked them to sign it in the open spaces. I don't want them covering the people up. So, yeah, one more cubby. That'll be it. I know Mike, uh, Mark Pryor was doing a signing. I think I'll send it out to Mark Grace. He's doing a private signing. I'll just get him to sign, like, right here. So, so that's it for the Cubs uh, 8x10. That's coming to an end. One more autograph, and I'll retire this one. So many projects I have. It's nuts. But uh, last one here, folks. This is my 1978 Los Angeles Dodgers uh, yearbook. They went to the World Series that year. They lost to the Yankees. So I've got a few autographs on this. Uh, this I this was obtained in a private signing. Bill Russell. I believe that was 25 bucks. And I got Davey Lopes. He was the second baseman. Uh, Bill Russell was a shortstop. Davy Lopes was the second baseman. Uh, that was thirty bucks. I just got Rick Monday. He was twenty. Ron Say, the third baseman, signed for free. Uh, he charges now, but uh, back when I sent this out to him a few years ago, he signed it for free. Same with uh, Steve Garvey. He signed this for free a few years ago. Now he does charge also, but it's those are very affordable fees. I think Ron Say is twenty bucks and. I think Garvey's 10 so, I mean, if you can't afford 10 20 bucks, man, I don't know. You shouldn't be in the autograph business because everybody's charging now, and those are very affordable autographs. I believe this guy right here, the catcher, is Joe Ferguson. I've never heard of him doing any signing, so who knows if I'll ever get him to sign this. This is Reggie Smith, and uh, I, he did do a signing last year. I just missed out. I wish I would have known that he was doing one, but I missed out. And Dusty Baker, he is the manager of the Houston Astros now, so I'm hoping he someday does a show, a private signing, so I could get him. And, of course, we lost Tommy Lasorda, the great Tommy Lasorda. We lost him, I believe, in January, January 8th, I think he passed away. But I do have a autograph tops card. With his autograph on it, which was authenticated as real by PSA, legit. So once I finish collecting autographs on the yearbook, I'll frame it up, my PSA card, with uh, the yearbook. So that is it, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate appreciate you guys that constantly tune into my videos, my little videos, and uh, leave comments, man. I really appreciate it. So give this video, please give it a like if you enjoyed this video uh if this is your first time here please subscribe these are the type types of videos i make ttm videos and whenever i can find something to rip i do that but that hasn't been very often as of late so yeah that's it i had a good day at the mailbox today and on monday i did receive some cards back from sgc i'll do that reveal on either tomorrow or monday i just don't have time right now but uh yeah that's it. I got some cool grades back from SGC. So that is it. That is all. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate it. Leave a comment, and I will catch all of you guys next time something ends up in my mailbox. Like I said, I really appreciate you guys that always tune in and leave a comment. So take care, everybody. God bless. Peace.